So Thank you. President Biden's re-election campaign today released its first national TV spot. Here's part of that ad. In small towns and big cities, we raise our heads, our eyes, our hearts for America, for the idea of this great country. Joe Biden is running for re-election to make certain that the sun will not set on this flag. The promise of American democracy will not break. Democracy must not be a partisan issue. It's an American issue. As your president, I will defend our democracy with every fiber of my being, and I'm asking every American to join me. For freedom, for democracy, for America, Joe Biden. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. How fascinating in that clip, Joe Biden said in the State of the Union address, democracy should not be a partisan issue. It should be an American issue. The Republican Speaker of the House would not stand up and applaud for that <sighs> while others in the chamber were doing, well, my gosh, what just about every American would do. Let's bring around right Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan. She's the co-chair of Joe Biden's re-election campaign. Governor, always great to talk to you. I guess the question is, will Michigan go as blue in 24 as it did in 22? And what needs to be done between now and uh, November uh, for you to get that, that wish? Well, thanks. And it's good to be here. And obviously, we've seen um, a real impact from policies that Democrats are leading on has yielded, uh, you know, positive election results here. But we can't ever take anything for granted. And I think the president's work around the Inflation Reduction Act or um, bringing home supply chains and uh, focusing on American jobs and improving the quality of people's lives and protecting our freedoms. That is really front and center for so many voters right now. It certainly was in this last election. People spoke loudly. They expect to be able to make their own decisions about their bodies. They expect to have fundamental freedoms to live and who you are and love who you love and be able to join our voices in the workplace and get good benefits. All this is at risk here, but the fundamental right. about our de American democracy is, is front and center for voters, and I think that's going to be really important going into this upcoming presidential. Well, Governor, independents, Republicans, Democrats, they also want to be able to send their kids to kindergarten. They want to be able to send their kids to Michigan State, uh, any other college in Michigan and across the country, without being worried that they're going to be gunned down because of reckless, extreme gun laws passed by legislatures that have nothing to do with the Second Amendment. Um, how important of an issue do you think abortion and guns, which Republicans have used for decades uh, in, in, in their favor, uh, but now with their increasingly extreme positions, uh, how much do you think that's going to hurt them in a state like Michigan? It's real, Joe. You know, for the long time, very few Democrats wanted to talk about common sense gun safety measures or uh, use the word abortion and talking about women's ability to make their own decision about when and whether or not they bear a child. This is really, I think, fundamentally um, a moment where people are focused. They understand. I talked to people across the state of Michigan who simply want peace of mind knowing that if they drop their child off at school, they're going to be able to pick them up. Kids deserve the freedom to get an education without worrying every second of the day whether or not they're going to be shot in school. These are, are freedoms that have been abridged by extreme policies for too long. We see it across the country. We're expanding the freedom to be safe by having some common sense gun safety measures here in Michigan. Um, but other states are rolling it back. And, and this is a, a issue at the heart and center of so many parents and kids' thoughts every single day. And that's a, a big part of, I think, where we are as a nation and what the conversation is and why Joe Biden is a person who's protecting us every single day. Governor, good morning. As you know very well, this presidential election in 2024 will be decided in your state, in Wisconsin, and in Pennsylvania, which went for Donald Trump barely in 2016 and that Joe Biden flipped back uh, to Democrats in, in 2020. So what is your sense of the enthusiasm among not just Democrats, but independents to be out there again in 2024, whether it's in support of Joe Biden or as a protest vote against Donald Trump? Listen, people want leaders they can trust, who have integrity, who get 
things done. And I really think that the Biden administration has shown that that is the, the brand of, of Joe Biden, Kamala Harris ticket. It's what they have been delivering on. They focus not on culture wars, but solving problems. Um, they'll work with anybody to get things done. And I think that's something that is, is really important. We saw tremendous enthusiasm from 18 to 29 year old voters, historic high in this last election and off cycle election. And so I do think that young voters are fired up. They're worried about climate. They're worried about guns. They're worried about individual rights and, and they're speaking with their votes. And so um, this president has got a body of work that he can show. He's delivered on, he lives his values and he makes a seat at the table for anyone. And that means independent minded or traditional Republicans who are looking at the state of the party right now and don't recognize it, I think are, are able to find a, a seat at the table with this administration and certainly will continue to get the message out and welcome everyone who actually wants to solve problems and protect American democracy. Governor, good morning. Uh, the president has certainly spent a lot of time in Michigan uh, in the last two and a half years. Yesterday, he kicked off his campaign and then spoke to union workers, which certainly plays well uh, in your state as well. But speak just a little bit about the challenges that he and, and Democrats writ large do face there in your state, particularly on the issue of inflation, which still is running high. I think, you know, at the end of the day, people want to know that if, if you're working hard, you're going to be able to get ahead and you're going to be able to take care of your family. Bringing jobs back to the U.S., manufacturing jobs, has been huge. I mean, Michigan has benefited from the Biden policies. And if you got a good paying job and your fundamental freedoms are intact, that's the American dream, right? It, to make sure that your kids also have a path to prosperity. And that's what this administration's been focused on. I think that there are so many distractions out there, but telling the story, showing the results, showing the receipts. When we're building chips in America, that means good paying jobs. It means homeland security. It means um, the strength of American manufacturing, which we all came to see was really important when we were dealing with COVID and supply chain issues. This administration solving problems and making people's lives better. And I think that's going to be crucial that that story continues to get told. But with so many distractions out there, I think that may be one of the biggest challenges, just simply telling people what they've done and where, where we're headed. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, thank you very much for being on the show this morning. We appreciate it. Good to see you.